if you've ever day traded and browsed YouTube, then you may have heard the name Ross Cameron. Today, we're going to go over whether or not Ross Cameron is actually legit and the three best and worst things about his trading program. This video will give you an edge that no other trader has. Welcome to the channel. This video just wouldn't be perfect unless we first admit that Ross Cameron is an amazing trader. He's fantastic, phenomenal. He definitely succeeded. Much of his success was in the time that the market was in a bull run. Most of his earlier success and some of his later success may come into question, but that's not to take away the skill that he has as a trader which is a legitimate skill. Trading is a skill. You need emotional control in order to trade well. You need to have fast hands, fast reflexes. You need an edge. And Ross Cameron does have an edge. And I don't care what anybody says. He's an amazing trader. We did have somebody in the trading group today who sold AMC basically at the top just because we specialize in our trading group in making people as much money as possible without having to get in and out of stocks too quickly. And that I think is my main problem with the too long didn't read is that Ross Cameron does get in and out of stocks too quickly to the point where normal people aren't able to follow his trades. My name is John Coda, I've been trading for 10 years, specifically day trading. And I help my students do the same. We did have someone sell AMC at the top today at about 650. Thanks to the guidance that we had in the chat room. If you're not already in the free discord, make sure you're a part of it. It's hundred percent free and we help people not lose money in the stock market. And what I want to first go over is, is my, my opinion of Ross Cameron and my experiences with Ross Cameron. And then we're going to go over the three best and worst things about Ross Cameron's course. And in order to fully understand this, we're also going to touch on how markets move. And again, every single video is about making you a better trader. So if I can teach you how markets move while entertaining you on my, with my opinion of Ross Cameron, then that's all the better. If you enjoy videos where you're able to get an edge that no other trader has, that no other channel is talking about, that will help you make big money in the stock market at low risk, then make sure to like this video, turn on the notifications, and that helps new traders, traders unexperienced, get the same guidance that you wish you had when you first started. The Federal Trade Commission did crack down on warrior trading for misleading consumers with false investment promises. Now, this is kind of a, a, a hit or miss to me because, yes, Ross Cameron was charged by the FTC with a, a $3 million fine because of some of his marketing. Uh, they, they called it bogus money-making claims, right? And that's why you'll see on his channel, he'll often say um, day trading is risky. Most day traders lose money. All those things are basically important disclaimers that he has to say now because of this. If you ever wondered why Ross Cameron says that so much, it's because of this. So Ross Cameron's students... And this is coming not from me, but actually from coaches. I actually interviewed with coaches who were in Ross Cameron's day trading program. And I have footage of this as well. And I, I have to find it and dig it up because it just got it got buried in my videos. And I'm so upset because we have amazing people, Juan Valdez, uh, just people who have been in Ross Cameron's day trading group and who have actually been asked to coach because they're just so good at trading. And they found that more than 90% of the people that they worked with were consistently losing money using Ross Cameron's day trading strategy. And does that mean that Ross Cameron is not a good trader? Absolutely not. Does that mean that Ross Cameron is trying to make everybody lose money and trying to steal from them? Absolutely not. 
And the FTC, though, did say that the vast majority of customer accounts lost money. So the FTC is able to see the brokerage statements of the customers with Warrior Trading. And that's why Warrior Trading was required to pay a $3 million fine. Now, is Warrior Trading sweating this? Probably not. They're, they are a, a company that brings in you know, over $10 million every month. So it's it's not a big deal to them to pay a $3 million fine. That being said, it's also important to note that if most of Ross Cameron's day trading students are losing money, then why is that happening? And how can we prevent it from happening? If we're already part of Ross Cameron's day trading course, how can we prevent losing money in his course? And I think this all comes down to how markets move. So I'm going to go ahead and share my whiteboard here okay so here is the whiteboard and i want to go over how markets move because that's going to help you understand how traders may or may not lose money so markets move okay how markets move markets move based on market orders okay markets move based on market orders okay so if you ever wondered why a candlestick goes up why the price of a security goes up it's because of a market order okay and market orders are slowed okay slowed by limit orders okay so if you think of it and this is called auction market theory if you think of it there are various prices. So let's say we have a stock and the stock here is at $1 and then here's at $1 and one cent. And then here it's $1 and two cent. Okay. And then below the $1, let's say it's 99 cents. Okay. And then 98 cents. And I know that my writing is really ugly, but what we want to do now is determine so essentially, when a stock is valued at $1, in order for it to go to a dollar and one, it must have a market order. So someone must be buying using a market order, an aggressive order that pushes the price up. Now, if somebody's selling, selling here, okay, sell at $1 and one cent, then the market order will essentially buy the security for $1 and one cent until there's no more shares left to buy at $1 and one cent. And then the price will then shift and move up to $1 and two cents, thus increasing the price of the security. And this is why Ross Cameron and Warrior Trading have been coming under fire because Ross Cameron has such a large following. There are students who buy in when Ross Cameron buys in or when Ross Cameron says he buys in and they will purchase the security. Okay, they will purchase the security, therefore driving the price up. And then Ross Cameron, who has, you know, he, he says himself, he, he pays over $395 a month just for market and data and the ability to buy and sell quickly, can then sell his shares. And that's, that's, the, that's kind of the biggest criticism that people have of Ross Cameron is that they will they they don't like that when they buy shares and Ross Cameron says that he's buying shares because he has such a big community it pushes the price of the security up when he buys because everybody else wants to buy too and he does have you know millionaires in his trading room and he just they're just all buying Ross Cameron is then able to sell because he has a very fast computer he has access to day trading tools, which allow him to get out of the market faster than most traders. And he's able to sell. And then he then in alerts his members that he has sold after the fact that he sells. Usually they don't, the, the, his members and his students don't have time to get out before he sells. And sometimes this results in the stock dumping back down to a lower price which is why the vast majority of his students lose money. Now, this is the main criticism of Ross Cameron. Now, do I think it holds? Yes and no, because Ross Cameron definitely knows how to trade. And I think that's 
what a lot of people miss is that Ross Cameron knows how to trade. So he, I don't think he necessarily relies 100% on having his students buy a stock in order to push the price up. It does, it does hurt the case that he does trade low float stocks, meaning stocks that have very low volume and that can easily be manipulated by his students buying in. But I think it's unfair to say that Ross Cameron wouldn't be a successful day trader if he didn't have a large community, because even before he had a large community, he was still a fairly good and profitable day trader. And it's certainly possible for individuals that do not have a large following to still be consistently profitable in day trading. So I don't think there is any reason to believe that Ross Cameron wouldn't be profitable if he didn't have a large following. Okay, so that, that's kind of the, the, the number one criticism of Ross Cameron's trading group. The second is that his strategy is hard to follow. And this one, I, I think, is, is probably the most, the one I would most agree with. It's very difficult to follow Ross Cameron's strategy because he has hotkeys that he uses to get in and out of the market, and he's usually out within milliseconds. And so if you think about that, if Ross Cameron is in and out of a stock within milliseconds, how many people going into trading, new traders who don't even know what a candlestick is, can actually follow Ross Cameron's trades and be profitable in doing so? So I do think that this is a problem. In order to trade profitably, I think it's important that stocks are slow moving enough that the average person has enough time to react at least after uh, a week or a month of training, be able to react to the buy and sells of the orders. And this is why I'm such a big fan of using OCO orders because they allow people to buy and sell at specified targets. And they, so they don't have to worry about, uh, a stock moving up too fast for them to sell because they already have their limit order set up so they can get out there. And then if a stock just dumps really fast, they have their stop loss order to protect them from a catastrophic loss. So Ross doesn't trade with any of this. He uses a momentum strategy. He usually uses a hotkey in order to get in. So he clicks two buttons and then he buys using a market order on a stock. And then he'll usually try to sell at the, at the ask when he sells his, his uh, position. So it's basically a limit order that traces the market price, but at a slightly better price than what the market is currently trading at. So th this, this one is a big one. Ross Cameron's strategy is very difficult to follow for new traders. It's just too fast. And it, so it's very hard for it to duplicate. And again, this is what I heard from one of Ross Cameron's coaches is his buy and then three second sell is some is a trading strategy that almost no trader can follow without losing money and messing up. That being said, I have also seen traders who have been successful with this other than Ross Cameron. And so I can't say 100% that his strategy is not for everyone. I think that there are certain people in the world who Ross Cameron's strategy would benefit. And so if you feel that you're very fast, you have very fast reflexes, then Ross Cameron's day trading strategy may be for you. So we have Ross Cameron's day trading strategy. We have Ross Cameron and the way that his signals tend to manipulate the market uh, or at least change the way that the prices are. Because for all we know, there are people, there are traders shorting when Mark, uh, when Ross Cameron says to buy. So that's important as well. Uh, we, we can't say for sure whether everybody's actually buying when Mark Ross Cameron buys a stock or says that he buys a stock. And the third criticism that Ross Cameron gets is that you know he makes too much money with his trading course. And this I think is absolutely, I got to, to step in for my man, Ross Cameron here. I don't think that's a problem at all. If Ross Cameron is providing traders with a strategy that works, I don't see any reason why he can't make money off of his his trading course it's totally reasonable if he put in you know hundreds of hours of work into his strategy then trade 
traders that want to learn his strategy, that want to learn to trade like Ross Cameron, can at least give it a shot by buying his course. So I, I don't think it's fair to say that there's any limit to how much money Ross Cameron should make because ultimately people make their own decisions. All, all we have is the information at hand and we can choose to take that or not take it, but it's really up to us. So I, I now that we went over the three kind of criticisms, I wanna go over three things that I really, really like about Ross Cameron, but I'm gonna actually do that in tomorrow's video. So I'm gonna make this a two part video because I'm, I'm totally out of time for today and I still have to research stocks for my students so that we can make big money tomorrow. So we're gonna do save the rest of this, the three highlights of Ross Cameron's trading strategy and Ross Cameron himself for tomorrow. But I wanna end on this note that just because a trader may not be for everyone and their strategy may not be for everyone, does not mean that they have done anything wrong. And I'm sick of people saying that because Ross Cameron brings in 10 mil a year that <laughs> on his course, that he's somehow any less than. I, I believe that Ross, Ross Cameron should be making as much as the value that he provides to the community. And he provides a ton of value to the community. So big shout out to Ross Cameron. And I'll see you guys in the next video.